Hello guys and welcome to this tutorial on how to fix the HDP VR2 um, black screen in the capture module. Um, this may or may not work for all people, um, but this is how you fix it. Um, the first thing you want to do is go to the Xbox and then go all the way to settings and then click on system um, and then go to console settings and then display and it will have 420p, um, 720p, 1080i, and 1080p which you, before you even click on any of them or press any of them blah, excuse me, you want to don't freak out because if you want to make sure like everything's set up like your hot pog wires is all set up, it's connected to everything, everything is on so when when you click on 420 you want to click on 420 first and then if it'll be a black screen don't start shaking the controller around the things whatever because that will just even be worse so go ahead and press 420p and don't touch anything else on the controller um, and then once that happens if the TV turns black then you have to wait in, until I talk about that further on um, so if that did work, if it was 420p and your capture module is now showing, then congratulate, congratulations, that was it. If not and it's still black, or maybe that is also, this is showing, but the TV is not showing. And what you want to do is um, um, go ahead and then go to the D-pad button and press down once, just once. Go ahead, go ahead and hit click hit A, and press A again, and that will change it to 720p. And then, if that works, then congratulations, it works. If not, then just keep doing that. Move down two times, and then press A twice for 1080i. If not, then go ahead and press it down four times and double tap A. Another thing to keep in mind um, in the back of the Xbox where the AC or AV cable is, um, make sure it's turned to TV first and then do all this. If not, go ahead and switch it to HD so you tried everything out. Um, so that is the first thing. The second thing is um, if none of that has worked, then what you want to do is go to here, start, control panel and then hardware and sound device manager for windows whatever and then on sound video and game controllers yours would show hobog um, <clears throat> I don't have mine plugged in right now for reasons and so when you have yours in yours should be under sound video and game controllers hobog right click it and it will say uninstall go ahead and uninstall that um, so once you have uninstalled that, just wait, when, when it's still installing, go ahead and pause this. Um, so once you are done installing, uninstalling the driver, what you want to do is, if you have the CD it came with, go ahead and, um, open it up again and it will ask install driver software or the, um, yeah, install the drivers or the software. Go ahead and install the driver again. Um, wait, actually, before that, make sure you restart the computer after you uninstalled the driver, and then go ahead and when your computer opens up again, go ahead and p put in the disk and install the driver again, so it's a fresh, brand new copy. Um, so then go ahead after that and go into your showbiz and see if it works. Um, another thing to keep in mind, um, again I don't have it plugged in, but it will say Hopog, make sure for Xbox both of them are plugged into HDMI and both of them says HDMI, do not touch the settings, anything else or that will mess it up. <coughs> so if you did the TV and you uninstalled the driver and reinstalled it with a fresh copy and none of this has worked, um, go ahead and try for the last time, like set 420p, 720p, etc. So 
like now because like you want to try that first see if that was the problem and then go ahead and uninstall the driver and reinstall the driver and then test out the thing again I have no idea what that was um so that is it that is the what worked for me I uninstalled the driver and reinstalled it and I messed around with some settings on the Xbox and the TV you know the 420 720 so you want to keep that in mind and that is it um I also want to give a quick shout out to someone who helped me with this his name is Skull Force Kid I will have a link for him in the description below he helped me out he is great and he is awesome um so yeah that is it for today that's how you fix the black capture screen hopefully it worked for you if not I don't know what it is I'm sorry but that is it um, if you have any questions or want me to repeat anything go ahead and comment in the comments below and I will answer them Thank you and have a beautiful day.